Hi there. Now in the previous video I showed you how to divide a line segment AB internally in the ratio lambda to mu. But in this video I want to extend that work and show you how we can find the coordinates of a point P that divides a line segment AB externally in the ratio lambda to mu. Where the coordinates of A are x1, y1 and the coordinates of B are x2, y2. Now as a reminder of external division of a line segment AB, I've got this example here. Where I've got the line segment AB and the point P divides AB externally in the ratio 4 to 3. So we've got AP is 4 parts to BP is 3 parts. So in other words, lambda, if we just stretch it across here, here lambda would equal 4 and we've got over this part mu, mu would equal 3. So I hope that gives you an idea of what we're trying to achieve here, which is now to find the general point P, which has coordinates x, y that divides the line segment AB externally in the ratio lambda to mu. So we start then with that result that AP, when we compare it to BP, is that ratio lambda to mu, lambda divided by mu. And to get the x and y coordinates, just as before, what we do is we consider similar triangles. So I'm going to complete this triangle down through here and I'll call this point Q. And if I draw a line from B horizontally across there and label this point as S and drop a dotted vertical line down from B and call this point here R, then the triangle BPS is similar to the triangle a, P, Q. And so from those two triangles, if we look at similar triangles, we can work out a couple of equations that will give us the X and Y coordinates of P. So when we compare the horizontal sides, that is AQ with BS, we see that that would be in the ratio lambda to mu. And if we look at the vertical sides, PQ, and compare it with PS, then we've got PQ compared with PS. That too is going to be in the same ratio, lambda to mu. And numbering these equations 1 and 2, we'll be able to use them to find the x and y coordinates then of P. So first of all, to get x, we look at equation 1. So from 1, when we compare the lengths aq to bs, we see that aq is going to be x minus x1. So we've got x minus x1. And then when we divide this by the length bs, then this is going to be x minus x2 here. So we've got x minus x2 and that's going to be equal to lambda over mu. And all we need to do now is make x the subject. So multiply both sides by mu and x minus x2 is going to lead to mu times x minus x1 equals lambda times x minus x2. And then expanding the brackets gives us mu x minus mu x1 equals lambda x minus lambda x2. Now if I add lambda x2 to both sides and subtract mu x from both sides, I end up with lambda x2 minus mu x1. And here I'm going to pull out x as a common factor across the lambda and the minus mu. And finally,
dividing both sides then by lambda minus mu gives us the x coordinate of p, which is lambda x2 minus mu x1, and this is all divided by lambda minus mu. Okay, so that's the x coordinate of the point p. Now we need to get the y coordinate and we turn to the second equation 2. So from equation 2 we compare pq with ps. So pq first of all, this side here, the length is going to be y minus y1. So we've got y minus y1 and that's divided then by the length ps and ps is going to be y minus y2. So we've got y minus y2. And again, this ratio is going to be lambda divided by mu. Now you can see that when we compare our equations, they're basically the same, they've got the same format. And all I've got to do is replace the x1 with y1 and the x2 with y2. So we're going to get exactly the same format as we had here. That leads to y equaling lambda y2 minus mu y1, and that's all divided by lambda minus mu. And so in summary, we've got the coordinates then of p. And notice how they basically have the same pattern structure. And the result is very similar to what we had in the previous video when we looked at dividing a line segment AB internally in the ratio lambda to mu. Only we had plus signs here instead of negative signs. The method is essentially the same. Just take the first ratio, lambda, multiply it then with the second x-coordinate, subtract the second ratio, multiply by the first x-coordinate, and then just do the difference between the two ratios, lambda minus mu. And then do a similar procedure when it comes to the y-coordinates. Now, I've got an example that uh, I'd encourage you to have a go, which is a follow-up on this, just to give you further practice. And here it is. You've got to find the coordinates then of a point P that divides the line segment AB externally in the ratio 2 to 3, where A has coordinates minus 4, 2, and B has coordinates 1, minus 1. So do pause the video and have a go at this. Okay, well, to get the point P, using the method that uh, we've just seen, we take the first part of the ratio, 2, and then multiply it with the x-coordinate of b. So that's going to be 1. And then we subtract, take the second part of the ratio, 3, multiply it now with the first x-coordinate, negative 4, and then divide all of this by the difference between the ratios. So 2 minus 3. We do much the same kind of thing now to get the y-coordinate. So we start with the 2 multiply it with the y coordinate of b, which is negative 1, subtract, take the second ratio, 3, multiply it now with the y coordinate of the first coordinate here, 2, and divide all of this by the difference between the ratios, 2 minus 3. And that is it. Just tidy it up, and we therefore have p has coordinates negative 14, and 8. Now if you've drawn a sketch beforehand, which I would encourage, you could then check to see whether this looked reasonable. Well, I've got the sketch here anyway, and you'll notice that we've got the line segment AB with coordinates minus 4, 2, 1, minus 1 respectively, and the point P is out here with coordinates minus 14, 8. So you can see that what we have got here here is two parts to the three parts here, the ratio two to three. So I hope that's been of use to you and you can now divide a line segment AB externally in a ratio lambda to mu.